What's up everyone? Welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Apple Watch Series 6 with the iPhone. Now this is part of the how to use the Apple Watch series so if you want to learn more click the link in the description to watch more tutorial videos. Let's get started. All right, so first things first, let's power on the Apple Watch. So you just want to press and hold on that power button. And when you see the Apple logo, you're just going to have to wait. It may take up to 30 seconds or more, depending on the version of Apple Watch you have. Once it's powered on, you want to make sure you have your iPhone ready and you want to open up the watch app. So we'll tap on that and then you can tap on start pairing. You can choose to set it up for yourself unless you're setting it up for a family member. We're going to say set up for myself. And now you're going to hold your watch or your phone over the watch like so. Now that it's red, the watch, we can choose to restore it from a backup or set it up manually. Now, if you've had an Apple Watch in the past, you can use the backup option and just follow those instructions, but we're gonna set it up manually as a new Apple Watch. You wanna choose the hand that you use. So for me, I traditionally keep my watch on my left hand. From here, you wanna just read through these terms and conditions here, tap agree when you're ready. And during this time, you don't wanna really turn off the phone or the Apple Watch, just let it do its thing while it's setting it up. Right now you can see that it's signing into our account. We can enable find my watch, this is great if you do lose the watch. You should probably enable this on every iOS device just to have that peace of mind. So we'll enable that. Tap OK. And you can choose to share your information with Apple if you'd like or not. I'm going to say not. We'll tap OK here for the shared settings. Now this is going to allow you to choose the size of the text. So you can scroll down and it's gonna give you an example both on the phone and on the watch, how large or how small the text is going to be. So we can leave it where it was. You can also choose to bold the text if it's easier for you to see. I traditionally just leave it where it was. You can also choose to set this up later and you'll always be able to change this later in the settings as well. We'll tap continue. And now we'll create a passcode. You can choose to add a long passcode if you like. It's gonna be a little bit longer for you to sign in. You can choose not to add a passcode, but I'm gonna add one right here. So we'll tap create. Now we've got a four numbered passcode. So let's just choose something. I'm just gonna use zeros for now for this example. We'll use the code. As it's mentioning here, you wanna pick something a lot stronger, but uh, just for this example, I'm gonna use that code. We're gonna enter it again. And now if you have the Series 6 Apple Watch here, you're going to get the blood oxygen option here. You can choose to enable this now or to set it up later. If you don't have this, it's going to be on another option for you. We'll enable this because I'm pretty excited about that feature, how it works. You want to keep your Apple Watch up to date. You can install these updates manually or you can have them install automatically as is now the default. I'm going to say set them up or install them manually. You can have your Apple Pay settings. You can set this up later. And because this is usually sensitive information, you can tap continue and then go through setting it up. I'm gonna set it up later in the watch app. Emergency SOS. Now this is a great feature. It's basically going to call emergency services if you hold on the power button or the side button. It's also going to send a message to your emergency contact. So if you've set that up on your iPhone already, then it'll basically notify them. It's also going to set up the fall detection to call emergency services if you do fall and it picks it up. So you can read through this and then tap continue. Here we can choose our clock faces so we can change it. It's just giving you an update on how it's done. We'll tap continue. 
we can install available apps. So connecting with your phone here, it can install some of the apps that are on your iPhone already that work with the Apple Watch. So this will save you some time a little bit later. I'm gonna choose this later. If you install them now, it'll just load them all up. But just to keep things simple here, we'll choose that later. Now it's going to sync everything. This may take some time. You can see what's going on on screen with this little dial at the top left as well as on your iPhone. And at this point, don't turn it off. Just leave everything as it is. Also during this time, you can use your phone like normal. You'll get an alert when everything is done. So keep that in mind as well. All right, so that took a lot longer than I expected. It was about half an hour. Maybe it was running an update of the device as well. So at this point here, we can tap OK. It's gonna give us a little welcome here. So you can adjust the settings, the face gallery, the Apple Watch apps, we'll tap OK. And now we're brought to my Apple Watch here. On screen, we still have these basics and everything like that. We can just uh, tap or press on the actual crown here and it'll kind of bring us right in to our Apple Watch home screen. And from here, we can play around with all the options and features on the Apple Watch app on our iPhone. You can also play around with it on the Apple Watch as well. Now, just to go over a few more basics here, uh, we have the iPhone and I'm in the My Watch section. And then I also have my Apple Watch right here. And we're gonna focus on the Apple Watch. And just for starters, anytime you wanna open or unlock or get to your uh, dock where you can see all your apps, you just press on the crown and it'll take you to your apps. You can scroll around with one finger. You can also use the crown by going up or down on the crown. It'll make it smaller so you can see all your apps. It'll also zoom right in so that you can zoom into those apps as well. So I'm going to press back on the crown here. We'll go back to our main screen. And from here, one of the most popular things is to customize the watch face. So if you tap and hold, you can actually swipe left, tap the plus, and you can add different watch faces. So you can use the crown to scroll around here. And actually, if you have your iPhone in the watch app and you tap the watch gallery, you have all of these options here as well that you can add to the Apple Watch. And you can see that there's different variations of each one. So for example, if we go to one of the more simplistic options on the Apple Watch, like so, let's see this one right here, this one, and we go to this gallery here, you can see that there is that option right there as well with the simplistic with all the different colors. While you're choosing it on your Apple Watch, you can select it just tapping once. It'll use that now as your watch face. You can tap and hold on it again. And if you tap edit on any of the watch faces, if there are variations, you can use the crown to scroll through them all as well. And then you can just uh, press on it or even press the crown and it'll add that as well. So I just wanna show you a couple of those popular things there. And as I said at the beginning, there's a full playlist to the how to use your Apple Watch series. That way you can learn more about the Apple Watch and get the most out of it. And also feel free to ask in the comment box if you want a specific video or if you're confused about anything, I'm always available to help and I try to respond to every comment that comes my way. If you found this video helpful or enjoyable, click that like button subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification box to be notified when I post new videos. That way you never miss a video. And also if you wanna share this video on social media, that helps me out a lot. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.